every YouTuber and streamer and artist has their time. And every one of them will sooner or later take the plunge into irrelevancy. And so I went to Twitter and I asked the question, did I fall off? <laughs> so I went on Twitter the other day and I, I jokingly made this tweet of, guys, be honest, did I fall off? And then the, the sad, like, <sighs> emoji. I did it kind of for the meme and for a joke, but a lot of people took it very seriously. I want to take a second to shout out all of my friends that that reached out in like dms and texts and stuff just like with really sweet like reassuring things i don't know because lately like numbers have been a lot lower than they usually are and i know that that is just like part of making things on the internet it it ebbs and it flows and it comes in waves and right now i'm in a little bit of a of a dip in the in the bell curve if you will but i just kind of wanted to go through some of the replies and just like genuinely talk about a few things i don't know uh and meme on a couple of things but i thought that the responses to this tweet were really, really interesting. And so I thought that I would go through and just talk about it a little bit. One of the biggest things that I've seen here um, in the replies were a lot of people saying that they have been like kind of annoyed with the amount that I promote tour, which is something that I completely understand. You know, I put a tour promo in front of basically every video and shout out to the editors for making those and editing the videos obviously but there's like a tour promo in front of almost all of the videos um and then i've been posting a lot of stuff on twitter and instagram and stuff like that and i i completely get that a lot of people might be kind of annoyed because that is kind of all i've been talking about recently and i know that there's a lot of things that i've been sort of like shoving in people's faces um and i i completely understand that it has been a little bit overwhelming um and i apologize about that um you know the timing of stuff is just like kind of weird because recently like obviously i've been promoting the tour and then Colox started so i've been promoting 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 that a ton and then there was a plushy drop with u2s and so there was just a lot of stuff all at once that i was i was throwing at you guys so i i can understand that that can be kind of annoying so i promise <laughs> that the tour promo will stop soon because i'm about to go and do that but know that i'm i'm promoting it from a genuine place like i hope that people don't get the wrong idea about me making so much promotion about the tour because i talk about it a lot because it's something that i'm super proud of and it's very different and something that i worked extremely hard on and so that's that's why I'm promoting it. So, um, yeah, to those people who are a bit annoyed, I understand that. I get where you're coming from, um, and thank you for being patient about that. All right, so let's dive into some of these tweets. Guys, be honest, did I fall off? Let's look at the quote tweets first. We got a kinda here. We got a who even are you? I think a lot of these are from people, yep, from people that don't follow me at all. There's a few sweet ones. There's a no, definitely not. Uh, not me, you, not... To me, you didn't. Me to my mom every time I go to visit. <laughs> yeah. Once UA ended, yeah, Lamau. All right. All right, sorry. I'll be honest, none of your videos end up in my subscription feed. Fun. I don't know why, since I checked to make sure I wasn't unsubscribed, I just have to actively remember that I haven't seen your content in a while and go to your channel to see your videos. Super fun. I love that YouTube works all the time very well. I guess maybe I I don't I know it's like a meme to ring the bell but maybe that or try unsubscribing and resubscribing that might work I don't know yes L plus ratio plus I'm in love with your girlfriend <laughs> <laughs> uh, now nah, I just think you have to try stuff until a series hits. You're transitioning right now. Keep it up. You're doing great. Thank you. I, I have been trying a lot more new stuff recently. Um, I've been getting back to like filming more like out and about style stuff. So I did the psychic video the other day. Um, and there's a bunch more videos planned like that that I have coming up. And so, yeah, I hope that that's stuff that people like. I had so much fun filming them. So I hope that that's stuff that people like. So I appreciate it. 
I guess the question really is, why do you think you have? And then what do I do now? You're smart and have smart friends. You'll figure it out. Lean on them to help for help and advice. It'd be cool if I could read, I think. This is a funny one, though. The just, like, why do you think you have thing? I think that that's a, a very, like, common thing for a bunch of content creators to think. Because when things just aren't on the upward trend, I think it's really easy to think... Like, oh no, everything's dying, my career is going down the drain, fuck, oh shit, god. And then I think specifically for me, like, with Unis Honest and stuff like that, like, there was so much hype around that, that it's hard for me in my mind to, like, look positively at things when that happened and be like, well, nothing's ever going to be as good as that. Like, that's a hard negative thought to to get over, and I know I'm, I'm trying to do that, um... And again, like, I I hope that this doesn't come off as, like, oh, boo-hoo me. But I'm just, I don't know. I thought this was interesting and something interesting to talk about and try and talk about genuinely. But that definitely is a thing that, like, a lot of content creators struggle with is, like, once that upward trend starts to go back down, like, it's a, it's a hard thing to deal with. Um, and it's easy to not look at numbers and try to not look at analytics and stuff but it also is like hard when it's your actual job and stuff like that i don't know yes yes all right fair enough will there be beat and griefs after the shows nope <laughs> i'm sorry a little but we're loyal <laughs> it's like <laughs> and right below it a little but it's okay <laughs> Oh, man. These are really funny. I don't know why this is funny to me, but, like, yeah, a little bit, but it's fine. You're doing okay. It just feels very genuine. I don't know. The quality of your videos has gone up, but I think YouTube's algorithm isn't helping you, but things will change. Yeah, I don't even know what the algorithm wants. I, I don't know. Because there was a bit where YouTube was putting me on recommendeds all the time, and now, apparently, there's... I'm not on recommendeds anymore at all. I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, plus ratio, plus Spencer better. <laughs> just want all of the fucking comments on this video to be, yeah, plus ratio, plus Spencer better, plus I'm in love with your girlfriend. Yeah, sorry, King. Once Unisana ended, you fell off slash J. Is it slash J, though? Lil's Lily Soot? Is it slash J? It doesn't seem slash J. <laughs> Long time ago, pal. <laughs> It's fucking ruthless. <laughs> yeah, you did, but this was a while. This is old news at this point. Oh, there was a couple people. I'll probably find it here. People being like, "Yeah, your new hair sucks. You look like a tool. That's why you fell off." Just the yup and the yeses just hit really hard. <laughs> when you fall, get back up, bro. Gandhi. <laughs> no, you didn't fall off. You just went on tour. Fuck, guys, I missed tour. I already went on tour. Fuck. God damn it, I missed it. Shit. I don't think so, but maybe another backflip just to be safe. Okay, yeah. I'll do I'll do that. I'll do that. You're you're right, you're right. I'll do one just to be safe. Backflip! Backflip! Yeah! Backflip. Okay, is it fix is it fixed now? Did I Did I fix it? Give me the full name of who said that. Um Ethan Mark Nestor. I I said that. Since when were you on? <laughs> what do you mean, fall off? You were never on, shithead. Honestly, yeah, just starting to feel cheap, overdramatic, and clickbaity all the time. That personality we saw in Unis Honest has kind of faded. I mean, I kind of get that with the clickbaity. Um, that's the thing that sucks. That, like, having to think about that as a creator, where it's just like, okay, do I be kind of clickbaity and maybe piss some people off so then people will actually watch this video? That's kind of what I have to do. Um, I don't know. I wish that I could title things the way that I used to with, like, big all caps text and then the line thing and then inscription part two or whatever to be more clear what the content is, but, like... Just the way that YouTube works now, it's like I almost have to be clickbaity sometimes. I don't know. And cheap, overdramatic. I, I don't think that I've changed as far as the way that I present myself in videos that much. If anything, I think I've just gotten more honest. Like, I think I have an easier time talking about things now. I don't know. And I think the personality we saw in Unis Honest has kind of faded. I think that that is dictated by how I'm making videos because it's having that back and forth 
with another person and making stuff with another person, being in that kind of scenario changes the way that I act because there's another person there. So it's hard to do that alone, I think. I don't know. Um, but to each their own. Uh, and I hope that nobody ever goes on any of these tweets, by the way. Don't defend me. People are allowed to have their own opinions, so please don't hate on people. TBH, after it went as you basically died. But honestly, you're still funny to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, boy. I wouldn't call it falling off, but just rather changing and growing as a content creator. I've been watching you since 7th grade, and the one different... Uh, and the one different you notice from your videos now to even just a year ago is that you act as hyper. There's nothing wrong with this. People just tend to hold on last, especially hold on the last, especially on the internet. You can also see with music artists, many fans want their artists to create their favorite over and over again, but it simply is not their, the artist anymore. If you are looking for criticism, I will say, make new or more original content, which can be hard to do hence it's the internet and i understand you've been busy with tour but there's always ways to include small things or make content original even if it's playing uh, a popular game differently from other creators i think that that's a good point like i think that people will always do the like i miss the old ethan thing from like when i was like 17 and like being super loud and like to me that's like over dramatic <laughs> hearkening back to that other tweet um, because I think that I have changed and evolved a lot, and that's not going to be for everybody. And, you know, when people are get sad, like, you don't do this the same that you used to, it's like, I hope that that's good. <laughs> like, I want to be changing and evolving and stuff, and I hope that the change is for the better. Honestly, I watched Unis Honest for you. Your content is amazing, dude. I love your personality and your sense of humor, and you always make me laugh. If you didn't do Unis Honest, I don't think it would have been anywhere, ne ugh, anywhere near as popular. You're doing amazing. Don't doubt yourself. Thank you, Mayhem. That's very sweet. Show feet and ratings will improve, duh. <laughs> ah! You good, my guy? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Your vids lately have just been playing an hour of X generic game that everyone's playing, to be honest. It's not super interesting. You're still one of the goats, though, so keep trying new stuff and find your vibe. Well, it's very flattering that you say that I'm one of the goats. Thank you. I, <laughs> Because I'm cynical, I don't agree with you, but that's super, super flattering. Um, yeah, I felt like it's it's been hard recently to try and find shit to record. Like, even this is, like, a kind of a dumb video. I don't know. Like, it's not anything crazy interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I've I've been having a hard time trying to find stuff to record. Other, like, especially, like, here at my desk. Like, the stuff that I've been filming recently, which will come out soon of me, like, going out and filming with other people, um, like the psychic video and stuff like that. There's going to be more stuff like that, hopefully every week. But... In the interim, I, I feel like I've been having a hard time finding shit to record recently. So, people have suggestions. Let me know. <laughs> Fall off this dick. <laughs> well, fam, that's almost all of the tweets. So, there we go on that. I'll slowly scroll up and you can see this I love lean FNAF meme. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know how this video will turn out. Um, I don't know what everybody's thoughts are on it. I just thought it was interesting, and it would be interesting to go through the tweets and, and talk about stuff. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm in kind of an odd spot, I think, because I'm feeling the spark start to come back, but at the same time, it's like, oh, it's hard to find shit to do. Um, and I don't know. I'm, I'm extremely excited for the future, and like I'm, I'm so excited to go on tour, and I feel really really fortunate and really lucky to have an audience like that that would allow me to do that and people that are excited about uh, uh, excited enough about what I do to come and see me on tour like that is incredible and I hope that despite me like promoting it all the time I hope that you don't take that as me trying to be greedy or ungrateful or anything like that because I I recognize how fucking lucky I am and the fact that I am able to do a show at all for you guys is just a testament to like how great of a community you guys are because not everybody can do this and it's because of you guys that I'm able to go on tour and, and make the show and stuff like that. And so I just want to say thank you genuinely for, for everything. Um, and so, yeah, and I also understand the people that don't want to watch my stuff anymore because... Um, you know, it's people growing and evolving and like, I don't know, people's interests change. Um, and I completely understand that. So anyway, 
Um, yeah, I don't really know what this video is, but thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here. This got a little bit more sentimental than I originally thought it would be. But anyway, thank you guys so much. Um, I love you, and I'll uh, see you in the next one.